Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you all for joining me today. My name is Ben Walgate and I'm the creator of the 401 Files. On this channel, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on all things considered creepy or thought-provoking. So if you're sitting comfortably and you have your coffee in hand, let's begin. For thousands of years, humans have asked whether or not we are alone in the universe, and could extraterrestrial life exist on other planets? The ancient Greek philosopher and scientist Aristotle first suggested that Earth was not alone in 350 BC. Since then, man has grown more curious and science more advanced, with countless experts dedicating their lives to searching for life beyond our own planet. NASA believes that exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our own sun, have the best chance for hosting alien life. Scientists have discovered more than 3,300 of these exoplanets and are looking for Earth-like bodies that are capable of having liquid oceans. The US Space Agency is also looking at four celestial bodies within our own solar system that they believe could host microscopic life. Our own species appeared around 200,000 years ago, at a time when several others existed, yet today only we remain, and it's been that way ever since. So it's understandable why people can't imagine anything more superior to ourselves or more technologically advanced than ourselves. But you might still be asking the question, why is life so rare? One thing we can all agree on is that life on Earth is anything but rare. And when life first started to materialise, it didn't just trickle slowly, step by step, it literally exploded. Today we have literally millions of different animals, insects, species of plants, trees, bacteria, and whatever else. Yet people still assume that life is only present here on Earth. But wait, what if we wasn't the first, and what if we aren't the only supreme intelligent species in the cosmos? What if we're just one species from a long line of bipedal intelligent creatures? What are the odds that intelligent life evolved here on Earth and nowhere else? To go along with that theory would mean that you accept that among 20 billion trillion stars in the observable universe, and across 13.8 billion years of cosmic history that only we made it. Those odds are about 1 in 10 billion trillion, according to researchers writing the journal Astrobiology. Meaning, it's very, 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 very unlikely humanity is unique across the sweep of cosmic space and time. It's my belief then, that we are most definitely not alone. And should those kind of odds be given to you on any other subject besides extraterrestrials, you would never bet against them. You might think that the only people who believe in aliens are forum dwelling internet conspiracy theorists. But it turns out a lot of NASA astronauts also think extraterrestrials are real, and that they have been in touch with humanity for a very long time. At least four celebrated spacemen have become famous for their outspoken beliefs about the existence of extraterrestrials. So where are they? Where are all the extraterrestrials? One speculation is that aliens have some kind of moral code, which prevents them from a large-scale interference in the affairs of a less advanced civilization. Others suggest that we humans are not ready. We're not ready for open contact with the extraterrestrials because our level of spirituality and consciousness is still too low. The most sinister answer to the question of why aliens don't make open contact is that they are not well disposed towards us. After all, if your intentions are hostile, why announce your presence? Knowledge of it could only inspire resistance in the target population and complicate the achievement of your goals. But what are those goals? Some UFO researchers believe the aliens are here to harvest human genetical material, possibly for the purpose of creating alien-human hybrids. Here's something else to think about. The next time you gaze up at the night sky, I want you to consider this. How many people are alive at this moment? Six, seven billion? How many have lived on this planet since the dawn of awareness? 100 plus billion? How many through the ages, through the millennia, how many of us have looked up in the wonder and are at the night sky? Everyone has, everyone will, and everyone does. Believe it or not, we are all made up of stardust. It sounds like a line from a poem, but there is some solid science behind this statement. 
Almost every element on Earth was formed in the heart of a star. So the next time you're out gazing at stars twinkling in the night sky, spare a thought for the tumultuous reactions they play host to. It's easy to forget that stars owe their light to the energy released by nuclear fusion reactions at their core. These are the very same reactions which create chemical elements like carbon or iron. The building blocks which make up the very world around us. So isn't it possible then, with all these trillions of stars in the night sky, that those same building blocks of life also reached out to the furthest reaches of the universe and created life again and again and again and again? I believe so.